Today we are going to be looking at the PV command. Uh, and it's installed on a lot of systems, it's very commonly used, but if not, you can use your package manager such as Aptitude to install PV. I like Aptitude if you're on most Debian systems. Uh, sudo aptitude install pv. If you're on Ubuntu, just because they like to be different and aptitude isn't installed by default, you probably use apt-get. Or you can use one of the GUI, your software center or synaptic or something like that. Whatever you use for your package manager, go ahead and install pv if it's not already installed. Uh, and then we can also have a look at the man file that will tell us what pv does. So man pv. And if we look in here, we can see that it does a bunch of things. But if we go back up to the top here, First line says PV, monitor the progress of data through a pipe. So basically we're taking the output of one programmer script and we're piping it into PV and it will monitor it and maybe manipulate it in certain ways. PV is sometimes used to create a progress bar for certain processes, but today we are going to use it to um, basically echo out some text, but instead of displaying a whole string of text at once, we're going to break it up so it looks like it's being typed by hand. And uh, we need two switches for doing that. So let's look down here. One of them is dash Q or dash dash quiet for data. No output. That means that um, it will display uh, only the string that we want to uh, display and not just extra information that PV will normally put out. It even says here useful if the dash L option is being used, which is what we are going to use along with it. So if we scroll down a little bit farther here under data transfer modifiers, we can see that dash L and then a rate or dash dash rate dash limit rate um, limits the transfer of to the maximum of rate bytes per second. So basically it's going to, we're going to give it a number and it's going to, uh, depending on the number we give it, the faster it goes, the higher the number, the faster it goes for displaying text. So just to put it simply, we're going to say echo and we're going to say this, it, oops, this is some text. And we hit enter, and with the echo command, as normal, it prints the whole line all at once. Once again, whole line all at once. But if we pipe that into PV with the dash Q, the quiet option, and, uh, and capital L, you don't have to put a separate dash, you can put them together like that, and then we give it a rate. Don't go any lower than 10, or else it will not work. And if we hit enter there, you can see it now looks like it's typing by hand again. It's typing one letter at a time. If we go with a higher number, we'll say 20. Let's see what happens. It types a little bit faster. If we go 100, it types really fast. Um, basically, uh, 10 will be uh, one letter at a time. 20 will give you two letters at a time, so forth, so on. Um, that's about it. That's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. So once again, uh, it doesn't just have to be echo. It can be the standard output of any f program. And we're going to pipe it into PV, dash Q, capital L for quiet and limit rate. And then 10 is a good number. I would stick with that. And you'll get what appears to be the output being typed by hand, one at a time. So uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I have plenty of tutorials on shell scripts, Python, uh, game design, Blender 3D, um, bunch of open source stuff, uh, just using open source tools such as PV. Uh, if you enjoy this tutorial, check out my other tutorials on my YouTube channel or go to filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Um, there you can see playlists, files I have for downloads, scripts, music, other stuff, just information, updates. Um, also, I, I have, like I said, plenty, plenty of tutorials, almost 1,500 tutorials, I think, around there somewhere, 1,400, 1,500, um, and plenty more to come, hopefully. Uh, if you like this site, if you like my videos, my tutorials, you find them useful, and you want to help support this site, there is a donate button on my website, once again, at filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K, and there'll be a link to that, as well as a link to filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC in the description of this video. Feel free to comment if you have comments on this video, but if you have questions, please do not put them in the comments of the YouTube video. That is a great way to not get your question answered. If you have questions, please chat with us in the IRC channel. I am often in there. If I'm not, there are other people in there who are smarter than me in a lot of different areas. So if I can't answer the question, they may be able to. And if I'm not around, hopefully they can as well uh, for stuff that I would normally answer. Uh, also, 
If you go into the IRC channel, don't expect to get an answer in the first five seconds. We have people come in all the time, ask a question, and under three minutes, they leave again. Come in, ask a question, and wait. People may not be looking at their monitors right when you ask a question. But we do get into conversations that go on for a while, and we get a lot of questions answered. Uh, I also ask, you know, if you want to just be part of the community, join the IRC channel and hang out in there all the time. Gives you a chance to learn from things other people are asking and also maybe gives you a chance to help other people. That's what open source is all about. Us working together to improve technology and learn. So thank you once again. Visit filmsbychris.com. Link should be in the description. And I hope that you have a great day. <laughs>